Today we're going over the Chase Stokes or John B from the new season of the Outer Banks which uh, a lot of you loved the haircut that I did. So if you are curious in seeing the tutorial of the haircut from season one, I have a video on YouTube, you can watch that. So for season two, from what I've seen, there's not a lot out there, but from what I've seen, it's a little, it's very similar, but I wanna go over how to achieve that look and some things you can do to get that haircut and hairstyle. So the first thing, is the length itself. Now, based on the photo that I saw, it actually looked a little bit more layered in certain areas. So not as long, similar, but not as long as the last season. So you wanna make sure that the haircut itself has some layers to it, all right? What type of hair would this work on? If you've got naturally wavy hair, curly hair will work. It's just, it's gonna look a lot more curly, especially with the layers. But if you've got wavy hair, whether it's thick or fine, if you have a lot of it, that's gonna be great. You wanna have a good amount of density because this is really gonna help out the style. Even if you have pin straight hair, which this mannequin does, you can achieve this look. So when it comes to the layers, what are layers? Why is it important? Well, layers gives a lot of freedom to the hair and it also allows for movement. And the movement is what makes the hair get a little more volume, a little more texture. So make sure that the hair, I would say, is a good at least six inches, six inches or so, or even a little bit longer uh, in order to have that length and to be able to move the hair around. But also having layers is gonna allow the hair to have that flow, okay? Everybody's so interested in the flow. That's where layers do. And then throughout the sides here, I would say it's a little bit shorter throughout the sides. The top is the longest point but you don't wanna have the sides super long or super short. It's gotta be kind of that right length, which I'm thinking is probably around four and a half or so inches. What I'm suggesting is if you don't have curly or wavy hair, uh, on top of the layers, you wanna make sure you've got some texture in there. So what I'm doing, this is a technique called like point cutting, or you can even do slide cutting. Uh, this is definitely for a bit, uh, people who are a bit more experienced. You know, and what that's doing is it's creating more movement and texture throughout the hair. And also what's great about this technique is that it gives the hair the opportunity to almost have a wave to some sort. So that texture can then be translated into it looking like it's got some bit of a wave, which is really, really awesome. That's why I suggest doing this. So, you know, again, if you wanna risk doing this yourself at home, go ahead. You know, a professional should be able to do this, but I always do this technique on cutting haircuts like this because again, if your hair is very, very straight, even if it's a bit on the finer side or if it's way too thick, this is gonna loosen up and give the hair a lot more of that ability to move around, which could make it look like it's, you know, wavy or even curly, as you can see what it's doing in through here. So then once you have the right haircut, right? And I don't suggest going to like a very inexpensive barber for something like this. You definitely want somebody who understands the layers. You know, what do you do? You can show them a photo. That's what I always say. You can download the free app, uh, Rock Paper, which is in the, in the description below. You can save photos of John B's haircut and you can make notes and let the professional scan that in so that you can have your own virtual assistant on your phone I'm a part of the app, I'm an, an investor in it, and I'm super excited about it, so definitely use that. And really find somebody who understands layering and shapes, okay? If you're going to somebody who's doing like fades and edge ups all day, may not be the right fit, and vice versa, okay? So, when it comes to styling, I would suggest maybe starting with 25 spray. 25 spray is always like a great foundational spray. Tidal Wave, this product right here is going to be my recommended go-to for this type of style. So I'm spraying this throughout the entire head. And the, the great thing about this is that when you spray, the mist really gives you a lot of great coverage. Just be sure that when you're spraying this, you are hitting the root area because that, that's where you wanna get a lot of that volume. So don't be afraid to work the product in like this. Lift and spray on the root and also throughout the ends too. Then when it comes to styling, I would suggest using a diffuser on a blow dryer. 
you don't have to have this particular blow dryer, but you know, a, a, a diffuser helps diffuse the heat, so it allows you to scrunch the hair more and make it a bit more on the wavier side. One thing you want to make sure you're doing is you're lifting, right? Lifting with your fingers right here to get that volume. Because in his hairstyle, he's got a lot of volume. And the best way to do that is to go in and lift and apply heat. But you want to be careful because if you're applying heat directly on your hand, you're going to burn your hand. So you really want to be careful that you're getting a lot of movement throughout the styling process. So you're not burning your hair, your hand or the hair. And then a lot of it is just scrunching, right? As you can see, getting some, some movement in there, some texture. You can even move this out of the way, which I like to do sometimes. And I like to just focus on one particular area like this, add a little bit of that texture, and then I move on to a different piece or a different area. But because of what we did with the cutting, right, it's allowing the hair to have a lot more movement, right? That those techniques in that layer, the point cutting, really add some texture to the whole thing, which I love. As you can see, the hair is drying relatively quick, which is awesome. And I'm really trying to let the diffuser do most of the work in sync with the product Tidal Wave. You get a lot of volume with Tidal Wave, which is why I love it. It's a perfect amount of volume and hold and texture at the same time. There you go. Now, if you do not want to use heat, right? Because I still get a lot of people like, oh, I don't want to use heat and, you know, can I achieve this type of look without the heat? Well, you can. It may take some time to get there, but that's where you can just spray Tidal Wave in work the product into position and then let it air dry. And you may not get as much volume like we just did with lifting, but at the same time, you're gonna get that nice beachy texture. Uh, it really comes down to having the right haircut and you know, being able to style it. So you know, once again, if you're not aware, if you use code YouTube20, right, you get 20% off products that you order on shop.thesalonguy.com and free shipping in the United States on orders $50 and higher. Let me know what you think of this and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.